Hi everyone. I'd like to uh, share a little bit on some ideas that I have on a electric motor of a very different kind. And what you're looking at here is uh, two very large uh, two inch square neo magnets. It's one inch thick and there's another two inch square by one inch thick and these magnets are connected through this uh, one inch steel rod and this pole here let's say this is a north pole well this is a north pole here too so the poles are opposing each other and normally these magnets you'd have to uh, because of the strength they are N50s, uh, it even gets difficult to approach them that close uh, because of the magnetic field being so strong. Uh, but the steel rod helps to uh, make that connection. So you can imagine the amount of flux that's pushing here and to there, and there's a center point here, and that's how this motor is capable of uh, operating is there's a neutral uh, point here and what I'm sending in this coil is basically square wave which is a polarity flip and that's why the coil flops flip flops back and forth like that so this motor would be a motor more uh, in the range of a uh, uh, I would guess um, solenoid motor that's what I'm looking for uh, because of its act back and forth uh, action like that so here I could put a connecting rod and have a uh, crankshaft and uh, obviously turn that back and forth motion in, ro in rotary uh, so therefore this uh, could be a motor um, the idea behind this motor is instead of creating very large uh, magnetic fields with a coil to push uh, magnets and uh, to uh, overcome uh, very large magnets as well. You need a lot of energy to do that. Uh, for instance, if you put very strong magnets in an electric motor, it doesn't necessarily give you a better performance because now those magnets uh, are obviously stronger and you'll need a stronger magnetic field that your coil will have to do so once you get to the point where the magnet you need to oppose it to pass it through the coil well there's a lot of energy uh, put in so but then again when the magnet gets attracted to the steel core well it's very very powerful but then again you have to put a lot of energy in there to get it away so the idea here is uh, kind of doing the opposite, utilizing the very strong magnets and utilizing the coil in a way where you uh, take the most energy out of the coil but not putting a core in the coil. So this is kind of opposite. Of the magnetic field is very strong but that's coming from these magnets. Uh, right now, this is only a quarter or maybe about 0.22 watts that I have measured accurately that's going through this coil. And yet it's capable of moving this mass of copper, which weighs about, uh, well, it's well over one pound. I think it's about uh, close to, well, it's not quite two pounds, but it's definitely a pound and a half, let's say, back and forth like this at 1.5 Hertz uh, it would take quite a bit of energy and a lot of energy is being lost as well because uh, that uh, coil here which is just um, uh, dipped in uh, epoxy it's just riding on that steel rod there so I just put a little bit of oil there but there's quite a bit of friction if I stop this <laughs> it stops jet See, I have a hard time moving that. So there's a lot of energy that's, you know, being wasted right there. So this is the kind of thing that I'm going to be researching. 
Um, right now, the center pole that this uh, coil is creating, it, all the energy is working against or attracting and repelling with this uh, field here. So that's an interesting thing about this motor concept. I don't know if it already exists, but this is some idea that I've come up with and if it does exist, well, that's great. Uh, but if not, uh, here's a new kind of concept uh, to, be, uh, to be looked at if anybody's interested. Um, now, I'm only utilizing half the field that the coil is creating. There's a very large field that is also created all around the coil here. And what can be done is the uh, here, the let's say this is the north side, we have our south side. The south side you, with steel, again, could be combined and you can have steel going across from each south meeting again to the zero point in the center here. And if it goes all around the coil, well, what we're seeing here of work, well, the force will actually uh, double, maybe even more. Who knows? I haven't built it. But obviously, right now, as it is, I'm just using the field that's in the center of the coil, which I know is a very strong field and easy to get. Um, but uh, I'm quite sure that adding the south here all around it will now reinforce as well that uh, pushing and pulling action. So that's one motor concept that I've uh, had for a while and I've just recently uh, got all the magnets in and looking at uh, different uh, uh, ways of building it. Now this coil is not ideal either. Uh, that's about um, a 30 micro Henry, uh, sorry, 30 milli Henry uh, coil and it has about a DC resistance of uh, 7.5 ohms and I think the ideal coil from my uh, understanding would be a coil that would actually be a little bit more than half the length of this bar okay and um, that way you would really maximize uh, the stroke back and forth uh, here, I mean, it's amazing that it can travel that much distance. Uh, I can show you as well, I can get it to, to basically slap, meaning it'll hit each magnet uh, on each side there. And just, there you go. And you can see the whole structure is moving back and forth, uh, just resting on those rows. So the thing, I haven't changed anything. It's got uh, quite a bit of power for uh, utilizing less than a quarter of a watt. All right. Imagine one watt in there, I mean the thing would... Uh, but what happens though, as I raise the frequency, well, the change over of, you know, polarity flip starts to happen too fast and then the magnet can't reach each end. So what would have to happen at that point is more power input. But I mean, the stroke doesn't need to be that huge, uh, you know, like it is right now. This is six inches apart, it's traveling. So that's uh, quite a bit. Anyways, uh, thought I'd uh, share that and um, make uh, other people think of different uh, motor configurations. And that's about it. So I'll be working with other uh, coils, you know, maybe that are longer and stuff like that. And so that's about it uh, for now. I think that's uh, continue uh, doing some research on uh, this uh, electric motor. And the idea is designing my own motor for converting my uh, vehicle to an electric uh, vehicle. And uh, I want to find a motor that is actually more efficient than just regular uh, DC motors that one could buy. And uh, I have a feeling that we can get the efficiency uh, up quite a bit better than what they are at this time. So I'll continue experimenting and posting uh, what I find on uh, um, new electric motor concepts. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye.